<laughs> Where do I even start? So you know yesterday there was a lot of good stuff that happened, right? The Overwatch 2 announcement, uh, all the teasers, Junker Queen. Yesterday was a big day, and my team's been a little bit discombobulated because Retro hasn't been here. First, discombobulate. Retro came back last night late, like 3 a.m., because he's been away. So I basically had the rest of the team uh, doing stuff in his place. And so after stream yesterday, I mean, I'll just I'll just tell you whatever. I don't. It's whatever. So pretty much because I, I'll just I'll just tell you, I, I basically had to redirect um, whatever we were doing because I had basically told the team get ready to swap away from Overwatch. Uh, and Overwatch YouTube would say the same, like Retro's job would say the same, but everyone else's would kind of start to change, and I kind of had to reverse that. Basically, I was like, hey, listen, like this was this was good enough for me to turn around. We're good. It took a couple hours, a bit of a process, but you know, at that point, it's like six, seven o'clock. It's a little bit dark around that point, so I eventually had to get up and go to the bathroom. So I get up and turn around and go to the bathroom, and um, something runs out of my kitchen and sprints from my kitchen that way behind like my couch on fire. excuse me sir do you know what time it is i know i know exactly what time it is i like half jumped i was like what the f i was like what was that i went and looked and there was nothing there it was gone like a thief in the night i was like what the f so there was like three possibilities one it looped my living room while well, it was dark and i couldn't see uh, there's like a heating vent, obviously. Could have went into the heating vent and like dipped into like, you know, out the wall. Or there was the third possibility. The third possibility was he went into my couch. So I tried a, I tried a few things. So basically, I like looked around, looked everywhere, didn't see anything. I started stomping a little bit to see what would happen. But my floor is cement, so I can only stomp so hard. And then I shook my, my couch a little bit. Nothing. Nothing produced results. I was like, there's a, there's a rat in my house. So there's a, guy, a maintenance guy here. I mean, he's really cool. Uh, I'm cool with him. His name is Eduardo. And it's it's the, this is probably the, like, it's, it's just a fucking hilarious. He's a Mexican dude. He's really cool. Um, basically, whenever I have shit I don't want or, like, stuff that, like, I don't really use anymore, he always comes and, like, takes it, right? Like, he just either uses it or he sells it. Like, stuff that, like, I just don't use. I'm like, ah, fuck it, dude. You can have it. Like... So he's like, he always comes by and like chill, like fixes stuff in my apartment, whatever. He's a chill dude. So I call him. I was like, yo, sorry, I know it's Sunday, but like, do you have any mouse traps by chance? And dude, I could not hear him for shit. Like, I swear to God, there was an actual mariachi band in his phone, like full on. Like, I know how it sounds, but I it was full blast. I couldn't hear shit, and I, he's like. Oh, Jeff, how are you, brother? How are you? How are you? And I was like, yeah, Eduardo, like, do you have any rat traps? Because I can't, you know, like, I, I was like, I think I got a mouse in my house. I don't know. And he's like, oh, yeah, I could come bring by, but I'm not home. And I was like, I, it, it's, it is full fucking blast. And I, I was like, Eduardo, I can't really hear you that well. He goes, oh, yeah, the music really loud. And I was like, yeah, I know, Eduardo, man. Like, I can't hear you, man. And he's like, oh, I'll be home later. I can come drop it off. And I was like, all right, buddy, have fun. See you later. So I hang up like, yeah, that, I'm not seeing him today. <laughs> no fucking chance I see him today. So I was like, fuck it, I got to do this on my own. Well, it was raining yesterday. There's like a small chance that they actually, like, he wasn't doing anything. I was like, okay, he might be home. Because like, he, li he lives like right there. Like, he lives next door to me, this. basically. And uh, like, he's like, he's like hung up my TV in my living room. And I always hook the dude up big. Like whenever like he comes by my apartment, like does anything for me, like obviously he has to do his like maintenance part of his job, but I always like, I always throw him like, you know, it, minimum if he just picks something up, I throw him a 20. If he does work, I throw him like a hundred or something like that, right? Like I always take care of the guy. So he like, he basically like anytime I've ever needed him, I like, call him, he just like, he just shows up immediately. Like it's insanity. Um, So he's a good dude. So basically I was like, I gotta do this on my own. So I get up, go to Home Depot, I, and I buy some mouse traps, and I get, I get a couple. Come back after wa wandering around forever. Oh, I got some Texas Roadhouse on the way home. It was good. I get back, set them up, and I happen to buy, you know, uh, like 
like ones where it was like trapped them, right? I was like, okay, cool, we're good. But I also picked up like one like glue trap one. I was like, okay, like if all else fails, I'll use this one later. So I, I set up a couple of them and something got me thinking, right? I was like, maybe I should put like one glue trap in my room just in case, right? So what I did was basically when I left my apartment, I took towels and I stuffed them under my door of this room in my uh, bedroom. So, you know, it couldn't run into my bedroom. So I stuffed them in there, right? When, when I went and I came back. So when I got back at night, my room is really hot because the living, my AC is in my living room. So my, if, unless the door's open, the cold air doesn't come in my room. I kept my bathroom door shut with like the towel under night, underneath for the night. I checked around a bunch more before I went to sleep, turned the lights off, waited a few hours, nothing. I was like, all right, I guess he left, but I was like, whatever, went to sleep. So I got to sleep, right? I just, I, I, I started having this dream, right? I started having this dream that, uh, I, I didn't know how to describe it, but basically it was like bells are ringing, right? I heard this dream of like bells ringing and I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> you know, like I was like, Cause I was like half awake. I was like, oh, I must be just like low key panic that like I, there's like a mouse somewhere in my house and I don't know where it is, right? Well, I wake up at six in the morning. Turn your volume up. Turn your volume up. This is your time to max the volume. One more time for if you didn't hear it at the beginning, speakers all the way up. I'm making it as loud as I can. Did you hear it? You can turn the volume back down again. So, yeah, chat sent me fucking cat ears in a P.O. box, okay? If you haven't seen, okay, hold on. Let me, because it's gonna open my Discord. I wanna keep that off to the side. Remember this? This video. It, it was literally, I opened fucking uh, uh, P.O. box stuff on stream, okay? And and one of them was uh, cat ears. I have, it was just like, you know, I didn't wear it for very long. It was like a couple hours, you know, it's not a big deal. So the mouse ran into my room in the middle of the night got stuck on the fucking one I put in the corner. But he didn't get fully stuck. He only put like one foot on it. So he ran. And he ran around my room and found the cat ears and got stuck to the cat ears and then ran underneath this. But the cat ears were too big. So he got stuck on the bottom here. So I woke up at six I, I, in the I, I, morning. I didn't even, I didn't even, I didn't even know what's going on. I was like, what the f is that noise? The cat ears are out. Why? Listen, because they ended up on my floor at some point and they never got picked up. Listen, I have this little section here with this bucket with some other stuff. Sometimes stuff falls out of the bucket and it falls on the floor and I just forget about it. That's basically like what happens. So anyways, did I find the hole? I'm an Overwatch player. I'm not very good at that. I'm hoping to God he didn't have a nest in my couch. I'm gonna have to flip the whole thing over and see if there is. Yeah, I basically, because he was stuck, put gloves on, got rid of him. He's gone. So, a very interesting morning to say the least. Uh, Because, you know, he didn't raw dog and grab him. Nah, that's, that's how mistakes are made. It's, it was just, I was like, nah, dude, I'm not doing this today. I'm not doing this today. And I'm glad I put that there because I bought like the expensive ones, like the expensive traps where it's like, it's like a box, right? And they go in the box and they go to eat the food and the door shuts, right? 
Dude, those fucking sucked. Those were fucking terrier. Or terrible. The, fucking, the one that worked was just a strip of glue. Anyways, that's basically why I was up early this morning.